Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about these two icons. You can maybe already see it, but these icons are AI generated. Many AI generated icons have been showing up on the front page and I've practiced a lot with them. For example, if you go to this group, you're going to see a lot of um, AI generated icons here. So this is page 1, this is page 2, this is page 3. And as you see, they all look pretty nice. And these are all made for free with AI. So you might wonder, does this actually help you get more players? Well, to answer that question, I've done an experiment on this group, Reflect Games. So I have tried to sponsor this game with an AI icon and without an AI icon. So let's see the results. So this is the first ad. This is not the right image. I'll show you what the actual icon was when I did the sponsor. And what you can see is you can see a uh, click through rate, which is the important one. That's what um, the what we're experimenting with with the icons, the click through rate. And you can also see that with cost per click, which is how much Robux it costs to get one click. And then this is the second advertisement. This one was made with this icon. And what you can see here is that the click through rate is much higher, almost double of what it was the previous icon. So what does this tell us? Well. In here, you can see that the cost to get one player to play the game is half of what it was with the old one. And the old one cost money, while this one was made for free. So how do you make these icons? Well, I use Bing AI. Um, and then I use the DALI 3 editor. So what you can do is you can make a prompt like this. And it will just create images. And if you don't like them, you can just create new ones, change the prompt. Here's a few of my images. So how this works is you basically want to have a Roblox character doing something. So let's say a Roblox character make a Roblox character eating a hamburger. That's the first thing. Then you want to have a background so you could say something like um, make the background a park with the Roblox character sitting on a bench um what more you probably want the sky so you could say make the sky bright blue with a few clouds and then the important part is cartoony and vibrant this will create um icons in this in this style which is in my opinion the one that looks most to uh normal roblox icons if there's well, there's probably um, other variants of these. It's probably uh, you can probably remove cartoony, put something else there, and it will still look good. So uh, we're just waiting until generated the icon. So here you already see a few icons. So what you see is you see a guy eating this, and I think this looks pretty nice. So let's um, let's make the Roblox character wear a cap. Um, I think I want skyscrapers in the background. Add a uh, skyline behind the park. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Now there's a, a city behind him. Uh, I really like I really like this one to be honest. He's holding the burger quite nicely. He has the R icon from Roblox. Uh, there's cities. There's a skyline. The bench looks really nice. So right now in maybe maybe two minutes I've created this. I've created a bunch of icons, uh, including this one, which I really like. And I think if you use this, it would probably perform quite well on your game. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video.